pork, zucchini, and corn stir fry. This huge tray of meat that would feed four to six adults was one package of pork tenderloin. I simply removed the silver skin from the pork tenderloin, and in one package, you're gonna get two pieces of tenderloin, okay? Each one, after I trim it, I split it down the center lengthwise, okay? And then thinly slice it on a bias. For the vegetables, for the corn, one ear of corn per person is what I do for this. And all I do is take, I find a serrated knife works great for this. Uh, take a small sharp knife and use that shorter bowl as your base to kind of steady this. And the larger bowl, of course, collects the corn so you don't have to gather it from all over your counter. I took a couple of zucchini that were really not too big. See, there's no seeds going on in there. If the zucchini is large, medium to large, scoop out the center so it, it doesn't put too much liquid in your dish. Scoop that out just with the tip of a teaspoon. But these are really small to medium at best zucchini. And look, you can't even see a seed in it. So I'm just cutting them on a bias as well. I prep everything and put it away ready to use, as I say, all the time. So I'm gonna pick out our garlic and just thinly slice that. Now when it comes to hot peppers, I have one Fresno and one jalapeno. So seed or not seed, that's up to you. Pretty cuts on a bias. And then ginger. And there's your fine chop. If you want it a little milder, just grate it a little bit. The base of our sauce, we're gonna take a little chicken broth. Oh, about a half a cup. Now I'm making two pans, so I put in a little more than that. I put in about three quarters of a cup to a cup because I'm making double. I have to make it with chicken and with pork. I don't have to, but I want to. So for each four portions of either pork or chicken or tofu, right? If you wanted to make this vegetarian and that was vegetable broth, you're going to use about a quarter cup of hoisin for each recipe. Again, I'm gonna go a little heavy on that because I'm doing double time here. And that's all that's left in that jar, actually. It was only half a jar. Okay, off to the races. Kind of a Chinese-style barbecue sauce. And then for each four portions, you want about a tablespoon of chili garlic sauce. Again, I'm gonna use twice that because I'm making twice the amount of food. And about two tablespoons of light soy. That doesn't mean low sodium. It means salty and more fluid than dark soy. So per recipe, about a tablespoon of that, and the same of sesame oil. So now we've got our sauce, we've got our veg, our pans, oh yes, are hot. Look, they just started to waft a little bit of smoke off the oil. That means, hello, we are ready to go. So we're going to brown our meats and get them out of the pan. Okay, pan number one. Pork browned, came out going back in with all of its juices. We caramelized the sugars in the zucchini and the corn, and now we're mixing this all together in our barbecue style pork or chicken stir fry. Pan number two, chicken going back into the caramelized zucchini, corn, chilies, garlic, ginger, smelling good. I may double the sauce with hoisin, Chinese barbecue style sauce, with soy sauce, sesame oil, mm, a little chicken broth or stock. Now we're going to just let this sauce cook down a little bit and glaze the chicken and the pork. We finish with a combination of scallions. Let's put some here with this guy. And then a little cilantro. 